you must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnham has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the healing church special blood, or so they say. <laughs> Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. <laughs> yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, colourful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the cathedral ward. <coughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? <laughs> An aqueduct leads from the town south of the main bridge to the cathedral ward. Not a place you'd normally choose to visit, but not much of a choice with the bridge closed. <laughs> Hello and what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Unsaintly and we are here at the place where Gilbert is. This is post-commentary right now because I thought I wanted to play the game without commentating, obviously. And yeah, you can see over there should be the Cathedral Ward. I actually found out how to do some nice crossfades and fade-ins and shit. All kinds of fancy editing right now. And yeah, this is post-commentary simply because I thought... I don't know, I wanted to play some... Without the... It's not a burden, but it's weird to completely do it... I don't know, commentating is weird at times, but yeah. So what I was doing in this session here is... I talked to Gilbert because I missed that. Now we are here. It's kind of laggy on my screen because I had a, another thing open. But we are here and... I saw in editing that I missed something. That's great about YouTube and shit that... If you miss stuff, you can catch it when you're editing it, if you're looking for stuff, actually. And here, I thought, uh-oh, I saw the door, but yeah, that's an NPC. We can talk to her. So let's do that right now. Hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself 
for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Nice new gesture. Looks actually pretty cool. If I show it off, I think I do. Oh yes! Really good. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. And hunt we shall. So this is, I think her name is Eileen. I'm not too sure. I think so. Interesting NPC. Like I said, I found her through editing. When I was in the rafters, I actually had that entrance on my camera, but I didn't see it. It's, it's weird. You really look for a lot of detail when you do look out for stuff and while focusing on other details you miss details like the door but yeah there is a item right here that we can I, I can't really read it that well in my preview win window so you might just read it yourself it's a red jeweled brooch and that's a really interesting item It has a name in it, Viola, and you can use it for something, which I didn't know about. That will be in a different video, I think. Without saying too much, it's a quest item for a quest that I have missed. But in saying that, it's not that bad... I mean, you have a choice with that item, what you want to do with it, and what I did wasn't that bad, but it wasn't the best either. Right now we are going through, I think this is the aqueduct that Gilbert talked about, so we are going to progress through here. But post-commentary, yeah, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of post-commentary. I think I would play better with post-commentary because I don't have to talk. Some lore here. Again, I cannot read it that well on my preview, so you can read it. Bergenworth, a name we should probably write down. Testing for the Mimic. And here's the item that made me think to use the brooch. I was happy. Emoting and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. am. Always thinking for the camera. And now, a cutscene. Another detail I missed. We are now in the Cathedral Ward. Right there, behind me, was an NPC, and I missed it. You actually saw him or her, or whatever it is, in the cutscene, if you looked on the right, and then there is a door that is closed. Weird. You saw the NPC in the cutscene. I panned over him. Or her, like, yeah. but I didn't really see him. 
so yeah and then we are here in the cathedral ward now after we messed up gas coin pretty bad here's an enemy after we messed up gas coin we have now we have now the possibility to go here which is interesting enough weird guy some crows really annoying and funny because I'm watching the anime Bakuman right now where it's weird I'm that's that that's actually an anime where you watch the anime where these two high school kids I think they are in high school I'm not too sure but they are in school still and they want to become mangaka so they want to write manga and they want to write manga so they can get it uh, to serialization to make it an anime. So you're watching an anime, I, I think, I don't know if there was probably a manga first, so you would read a manga about people that want to write manga so they can make an anime out of it. But I'm watching an anime of people that are making a manga so they can make it an anime. It's, it's really fun. It's, I don't know, I like animes that are... Not the typical shonen stuff, and shonen is the prototype fighting thing like Dragon Ball Z or Naruto or One Piece, Bleach, what else is there? Probably Sword Art Online is one as well. Attack on Titan is probably one as well. I'm not too familiar with all of that, but it's an interesting one. I like... I, Hajime no Ippo, for example, I really enjoy as well, which is just a boxing anime. In general, I like manga more because I feel, first of all, less filler. So, I... Well, there is a, a, a website. By the way, there's a cool item here. I'm gonna... <laughs> the wooden shield. Might want to use that one. I'm gonna talk about the anime thing later. Or, you know what? I think we are, I'm gonna look at the shield. I first wanted to check if there's anything around that might punish me for going into the menu, but I don't think there is, so... Over there we can see items already, so we definitely know that we can get on the other side. And I think I looked at the lever for it, but... Here's the shield. Crude wooden shield used by the... It's so bad to read. To join the hunt. Hunters do not normally employ shields. Yeah, that, that shield is really trash. It's funny, though, that they have that weird shield in it. So, anime. I like anime. A lot. Yeah, Bakuman. Like I said, I'm watching that right now. There's these high school kids that want to write a manga to make it an anime. And there's obviously the typical love interest trope where these two, the main guy, which uh, is called Psycho, S-A-I-K-O-U, whatever. Fancy editing, by the way. Look at that fade out. Holy shit, and then it's fading back in. Oh. And then I'm shooting. I'm Michael Bay. <laughs> but yeah, he's, he has, uh, oh, another conversation. I need to shut up. Reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. 
home we now own little beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? I actually wrote that down, the Valley Hamlet. So, I have some sort of indication. I think I wrote it down right now. You can see me sit still, not doing anything. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade my weapons now and all of that. So, there's this guy, Psycho. And he has another friend, Shujin. Who, Shujin writes the stories, and Psycho writes, or, or draws the manga. The, the, well, he draws. And... Psycho has a girl that he really likes. So, let me let me back up. Psycho is in the class, and I use the blood gem thing right now, by the way. So, <laughs> the quest that is... Because, okay, let's talk about the game real quick, before I... And then I'm gonna go back. There's the blood gem, right? I used that, because, I, first of all, I didn't... I missed the NPC that I needed to talk to because I didn't know that these lanterns with the incense marked an NPC. I didn't know that at the time when I started the game, so I missed the NPC for the quest. Now the NPC gives you... Well, I'm gonna have the dialogue in maybe. I'm, I'm, I might cut it in. I talk to her later, but... There's this NPC, whatever, that has something to do with the blood gem. Now with the blood gem, you have... The blood gem and you're like, okay, it transforms, you can use it, whatever. Literally a minute later, you go there, up to Cathedral Ward, where we just were, with the chest, and you get a blood gem workstone thing, uh, a workshop thing. So, you get the ability to use the blood uh, or blood gems after you received a blood gem. So, I put one on one together and thought okay you know you get a blood gem you get the tools might as well use it and make the brooch to a blood gem that was my line of thinking so psycho he has he's sitting behind the lady he really likes he draws her in manga art ish or he just what the fuck is going wrong? My monitor just got into power standby mode. Fucking bitch. Cathedral ward? Okay. I think I'm gonna level up first. So, he has- he, he draws her. And... Shujin, the other guy who writes the story, sees that he is drawing her. So... The psycho guy leaves his notebook where he draw- where he drew the image of the girl. He leaves it under his desk and forgets it and then the Shujin guy looks in it, sees the drawing, whatever, puts one on one together and then calls him, I think he calls him, and is like, hey, I got your book, wanna come back and get it. Oh no, Psycho realizes he doesn't have the book and then goes back to the school. And Shujin is waiting for Psycho already with the book in hand and says, hey, let's write manga together. And, and Psycho is like, nah, I don't really want to, blah, 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 whatever. So they get a love story going oh, where mate. Psycho says to the girl that she, I think, was it, what was her name? Azuki? I think her name was Azuki. Miho. Miho. Welcome. Yeah, Miho Azuki, Azuki Miho, something like that. So they go into a, a, an agreement that if they get a manga going and that manga gets serialized into an anime, that they will marry each other, and they, the, but they are not gonna talk before that. Weird anime love story, whatever. I'm really bad at recapping stories like that, but that's pretty much how it is. So now they are trying to get the anime go or the man ma manga going into Jump. Is it Jump? They call it Jack in the anime, but it's I think it's Jump. It's the Shonen. Is it Shonen Jump? That's the manga magazine, right? I think that's actually everywhere. I think they translate it and publish it on other platforms. So yeah, I've been watching that. And the crow thing is because... I, I can't, it came to this tangent because of the crow. They have a rival who's a genius. 
when he draws manga, he just can draw whatever, make up a story real quick. He drew like a whole chapter or whatever in like 10 minutes. He's, he's, I think he might be autistic, I don't know, because he really seems like that. Since he's such a fucking genius at uh, drawing and writing manga right off the bat, off the dome. So he has a, an, um, um, he's writing, a, or, yeah, he's writing a manga where the main guy is called Crow. The Crow, whatever, something like that. And that's why I went on to this rambling thing. I... You shouldn't rate... If you're new to my channel, you shouldn't rate my channel or my post commentary because it's <laughs> really bad. I'm better at live calm. I think. I mean, if I'm worse at live calm, I might... Sh I, I should hang it up. I guess. This is awkward. This fuck. And I don't want to edit it because I'm already 20 minutes in or something. <laughs> So what else is there to talk about? Well, first we are gonna, I mean, yeah, you can see the gameplay. I'm not gonna commentate on it too much. I was looking there, I saw a lot of enemies and was like, eh, there was a different way to go. So maybe I should look there before I go anywhere. And there's some big surprises. We got the hunter set. And whatever that is. I have still no idea what that is. Looked like magic, which is weird because the game doesn't really have magic per se. So I was really confused. And I went back because I was scared to check it and then I realized everything is called Hunter's Garb and Hunter's Chest and whatever. Which is really good to distinguish items. <laughs> Top hat. Which is kind of cool, but I guess I can talk about the NBA. I'm a fan of the Rockets, if you didn't know. Ever since 06, 05, 06, where T-Mac and Yao Ming played there, I played, I think it was NBA 2K4? No, 2K5? It was a game, I think it was 2K5 or 2K6, where I played with the Rockets all the time. At first, because we, uh, my friend and I, were making fun of Yao Ming, because he was playing. That's so funny because he was playing WoW back in the day, and he had an interview where he talked to the interview guy, and then the interview guy was like, "Oh, you play WoW, right?" And Yao Ming was, "Yeah, I play WoW, and it's really fun." But I got ganged in the crossroads by three hunters, and they just killed me over and over again. And he was really sad about that. And it was so funny, and I don't know. We had some running gags, gags. Running jokes, running gags. Is that what you say? There's a big guy by there, way. Right? Almost Yao Ming size. I was like, oh, do you. Oh, okay. You swing your big thing. I'm spamming parries. Ah. Yeah. I, I, I shouldn't try to parry big guys like that. But yeah, I'm a fan of the Rockets ever since then, which is now almost 10 years. I've been into following them regularly. Ever s well, I've watched some matches back in the day. I didn't watch that much because it was way harder to follow since I'm from Europe. To be more uh, specific, I'm from Germany. So it's really hard to catch the games if you want to. Even now with all the internet and whatever, it's still really hard to catch the games. But I got really into NBA again when Dwight Howard went uh, over to the Rockets from the Lakers. Because that gave the whole thing a little bit more exposure and some media media press uh, stuff that I was getting really interested in it again. And I wanted to check it out. And ever since, in the, ever since then I've been watching quite regularly. Not as much as I wanted to, but yeah. The problem with that is I think the regular season is too long. I'm a big football fan, or soccer if you want to, where a season, right now the German Bundesliga is 34 games over a span of like 10 months or some or 9 months or something like that, while the NBA does almost the same thing but with 82 games. For me as someone that 
was really used to soccer or football. It's... By the way, here's a door that's closed by a device, I think. Only a special emblem is opening that door or something like that. We can see the big guys running there, some items and whatever. And I think that's the handkerchief out of the shop for 10,000 echoes. But... I came from football where a season is 34 long, 34 games long in a season. And in NBA, the regular season is... I think it's 82 games. I might be off by some, but I think it's 82 games where there's pretty much a game almost every day. Especially if you have sympath sympathies for more than one team. Where you're a really big fan of Team X, but you like Team Y and Z as well. So you have... And the games are long as well, with a lot of commercials, which is really off-putting. Since in... Football you play 45 minutes then you have a 15 minute break and then you play another 45 minutes with Almost no commercials other than between the 15 minute halftime break and so I Don't know. I think it would be a lot more fun if there were less games in the regular season, but that's out of the eyes of a European that doesn't really follow it too much and it seems to me that the players play a lot. If I look and Harden has a long game, Harden sometimes plays up to 40 minutes a game. 35 to 40, like 35 minutes when he's fit and when he's healthy is like a normal game. And that's every other day. That's seem plus practice, unless you're Allen Iverson, but you know, plus practice. It's... That seems too much for me. I don't know, but... I don't know, maybe I'm too, I'm thinking too much on the side of the players or something. But as a, as a viewer, it seems watered down. And we actually got a nice little thingamajig here where we can scout out. And I had no idea how to use that, so I shot random bullets all over the place and swung my weapon. <laughs> yeah. I think the seasons seem too long to me. Playoffs are really fun. Playoffs I like to watch. Regular season, already a lot of games. Just a lot of fucking games. That, plus the fact that I'm in Europe, so... If they play on the East Coast, one of the early games might start at 1 AM. One of the later games on the West Coast might start at 4 or 5. 5, maybe even 6 a.m., which is obviously bad. So I cannot really catch the games, even if I wanted to. So that's weird, but we clinched the playoffs. I think right now we are the second seed, which is really good. Dwight is becoming healthy again, which is nice to see. He missed, I think, almost 8 weeks with a knee injury. Hopefully he can come back in time for the playoffs, otherwise it's gonna be really, really weird. I don't think without him we can get far. We can probably get into the second round again of the playoffs, but I don't know, without Dwight I don't think we have a chance to win it all. I think we need an on-point Dwight and an on-point Harden to make it happen. And this guy, by the way, I didn't have that much problems with him because I was lucky that he didn't hit me, but I watched a streamer fight him and he got wrecked like three times because he was just spamming and spinning to winning. That guy can be really nasty. I was stuck on the lamp and I was like, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's basketball for ya. Not much to talk about other than I'm hoping that you will do well in the playoffs. But this video is coming to an end anyways, which means I'm going to see you guys in the next post-commentary. I think there's only one more post-commentary. Here's the description for the blue elixir, if you want to read that. 
So yeah, there's another video with post commentary. I think I'm gonna talk more about other stuff. I I have to r ramble about wrestling. I'm sorry. You might have watched my WrestleMania 30 video last year. It was WrestleMania 31 yesterday. Well, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. Yesterday was Raw. I really need to talk about that. Just because I feel like I need to get. I need to get talking. I want to talk about WrestleMania and Raw. If you don't enjoy that, I'm sorry, but yeah. So this is wrapping it up. I hope you enjoyed postcom. It was a little bit all over the place. I'm not too good at talking about stories in retrospect. I'm not good at explaining stories, but yeah, I'm trying my best here, especially with the long ass postcoms. It's weird. Yeah, I like live com a lot more, but I'm gonna see you guys in the uh, next video. I hope you enjoyed it, like I said before. And my name is Saintly, I'm out. Take care, guys. Peace.